future grails or quick sales you tell me which one these are now these lists have become some of my favorite lists to make maybe with the exception of my top tens every month because those are a lot of fun as well but i don't want to waste any of your time because this list is probably going to get pretty controversial to say the least the first one on the list is going to be from naruto this is going to be Medora. Medora remix is actually the correct one that is going to be number 722 this is a GameStop exclusive currently selling somewhere in the PPG of $20. Now I am getting these from PPG so these are these are numbers that have kind of been squashed together and I want you to hear me out on this topic a little bit more but you will be hard pressed to find this for sale right now for under $30 but listen to what I'm going to say here because this is the important part with the GameStop sticker. Now you're going to notice on a lot of these when I say this PPG just kind of takes the lowest sale, the highest sale, and they come up with a general average. The problem with this general average is it doesn't take into the account of the stickers, right? You know that we all have the special stickers now, and then you have the exclusive stickers. The special stickers are way less valuable than the actual exclusive, like Hot Topic, GameStop, Walmart, wherever it was exclusive to, that special sticker takes away a lot of that price. I don't necessarily know that I agree with that because I could simply take off a Hot Topic exclusive sticker off of something else and then stick it on there, but that's none of my business. I'm just saying that I don't know that I agree with that. Coming in at number two is one of them that maybe should have been number one. And, and after I did a little bit of research, I thought maybe this one should be sitting at number one, but I'm going to hold true to this list is going by PPG numbers and not my numbers. So, so number two is going to be Attack on Titan's female Titan. This is a Bates exclusive glow number three. 233. <laughs> this one is currently selling out at $39. But listen to me again with $39 is what PPG says that is selling for. I you will be hard pressed right now to find this pop for sale. Anything under $50 with the Bates exclusive sticker. This is kind of where my research led me today, so I want to be fully 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 disclosing the truth when I talk to you about this so you will be hard pressed to find this pop for sale right now under $50 with that Bates exclusive sticker now you could maybe get the special sticker a little bit cheaper maybe even by like $10 cheaper but you can get it significantly cheaper with the the special sticker versus the bait exclusive once again I know that that's controversial conversation some of y'all are going to agree some of you are going to disagree like I just said a minute ago I don't know how I, I I believe that the special sticker should still be up there with the exclusive, but I understand why it's not. Coming in at number one, check this out, is going to be something that I thought would never make it on any list. At number one that I am making is the Black Panther number 1114, so that would be 1114 with waterfall now this thing is currently ppg and out at 75 dollars but this is what i meant by a minute ago when i said that this might get a little controversial with the hollywood exclusive sticker so this is a funko hollywood exclusive it PPG, I guess somewhere around $75, but you can find these for sale right now. Listen to me, right now for $40. You can find these on the market all day. I expect the PPG of this one to go way down. It's not down at this moment, but I do think that in the future it's going to go down. And that's why I'm thinking maybe number two and number one might have been flip flopped in this list this week. But I'm going by PPG before you start throwing all. All of the nasty comments down below, I know that the problem is probably because it came from Funko Hollywood. You, we all know that you have a lot of scalpers that go to Funko Hollywood and they're buying these things in, in boxes, right? They're buying them by the box and then they're reselling them to the rest of the world who can't get them from Funko Hollywood because Funko Hollywood is in Hollywood, California. There's no other one anywhere else in the United States, so it makes it super difficult for everybody else to get their hands on them. My 
my thoughts is this one was probably selling out really well when it first came out. The scalpers made some good money off of it, but now it's starting to lose traction and the numbers are starting to decline. It kind of shows in the market that that's the way that this is going. So number one and number two, if you want to flip flop them in your head, you go for that now. But I appreciate you hanging around and this is probably the part where I'm supposed to say something like make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on. I Look, if you do that, I appreciate you so much more than you know. And, it, and for all the fans who have been on this channel as long as you have, man, look, much love and appreciation towards you. This is what I need you to do, though. I need you to share this video on one of your social media platforms. Share it, share it on Facebook. Share it on YouTube. Share it on one of your social media platforms, and that way we can reach more of the community so that they can find out about this awesome channel like you found out about this awesome channel. When you're out pop hunting, tell the person beside you you this pop hunting about this channel tell your aunt your uncle your mom your cousin your sister whomever tell somebody about this channel that are that are into the pops as much as you are look just getting people to subscribe to the channel because you get want to get numbers doesn't really do anything but i'm here to build the community so if you see somebody out there make sure you tell them about this channel and hey if they don't like it maybe i'm not for everybody i've been told that a few times i'm not everybody's cup of tea not everybody's cup of tea but hey I still love you all the same, so I appreciate you, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Mike Checka. Checka. Micah. Here we go again. Let's try this one more time.